Today, I just want to share with you a bit of news on the HD0 digital FPV system that is also known as SharkBite. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had a few updates, including the release of the new version 2 Race VTX that I've got here. And I'm going to be talking about this a little bit more over the next couple of weeks. However, we have been waiting for the release of this upcoming higher output VTX, which is known to be the 1 Watt one. Now, there's been a few details shared, but nothing confirmed. However, today, Carl has given us a bit of a sneak peek and shown us what this unit looks like externally. If I hop over to the HD0 Facebook page, Carl has put a bit of a post on someone's question showing us what is to come around the corner. Now, information on this is a little bit loose at the moment. My understanding is this will be up to one watt of output. It will have smart audio as well. And if we take a closer look full screen, you'll be able to see how this board looks externally. The information is that it is a 40 by 40 board with a 30 by 30 mounting option. If we look around it, we can see that it has a large heat sink, which is obviously for the cooling of that up to one watt power. If we look at what the images are showing us, we can see that it's got a UFL antenna connector. There's some holes either side, which will be either for a little mounting bracket to hold it on or give you the option of putting a cable tie on it as well. If we continue to look around, we can see the heat sinks on both sides. Nothing really on that side there, as far as I can see, but we can see the IO and the connectors on this side of the board. And we can see what looks to be the firmware update port here. And this looks to be the same connector as we had on the original Race VTX for our main I.O., which is our voltage input, as well as our UARTs and possibly that smart audio option as well. What's clear is that the VTX is pretty much through its design process and it looks like they're just in that test process now of just making sure it's doing what we expect it to do. It's really good to see this little bit of a sneak peek because it basically allows us to see what is to come. We know that a progress is being made and hopefully it won't be too long before we see this VTX hit the shelves. Right now, there is no further details on performance, specification or price other than 40 by 40 size, up to one watt of output. We believe it has smart audio as well. There's no weight information and there's no other information on what other features and capabilities that we have. We know this one has been a bit of a challenge for them because dealing with the thermal considerations with a one watt output VTX isn't easy in itself. You can see from the images that we have that large heatsink on the outside, which is needed to be able to keep the device cool. Some of the information that has been hinted at on this VTX is that it will be up to one watt of output, but that output power will be depending on the cooling that the VTX gets. And we're going to have to do some tests on that as soon as it becomes available and see what the performance is like. I know myself, this is one of the big ones that I am waiting for, and a lot of people are waiting for this one as well. So I do know there's going to be quite a lot of excitement around this one too. Hopefully, it won't be too far away in the future. And as soon as I do have any firm information on it, I will share that with you guys as well. That's it from me on this one. Hopefully, I'll have some more news on it in the future. We'll talk about this a bit more on the live stream tomorrow night as well, if you're interested in doing that. And as I said, there will be some information coming on this new version 2 Race VTX over the next week or so as well. That's it from me. Please stay safe, and I'll speak to you guys again soon.